All righty. Uh, I maintain a luxury apartment complex for a landlord. He has a lot of very nice uh, apartments. And we're going to replace some uh, outlets that are worn out and broken, but the older wiring does not have a ground. So we're going to put in a two-prong outlet that does not have the ground hole in it. Here in the country I was born in, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral. Red and blue are also uh, live colors. However, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So I will show you how to uh, replace these older uh, outlets and what to use when you do not have a ground wire. This has all been painted over a lot. There we go. Got the cover screw off. Now I get the cover off. It's all painted in. Okay, this is older wiring. It was probably put in like uh, 50 years ago. And look, they left a lot of bare wire behind here. So here in the country I was born in, to identify the live wire, see the four black tracers there? That's your live, and this is solid. And this was white. There was no... Uh, this is... Be I'm going to guess this wire is probably... 50 to 60 years old. And uh, this outlet was only rated. Oh, it is rated for 15 amps. So, uh, your live wire, which has the black tracers, go to the brass screw, which is the narrow slot. This white wire, which is neutral here, goes to the uh, silver colored screw, which is the uh, wider slot. So we'll uh, open our loops up and we'll, okay, we'll close the ones we're not going to be using here.
We'll see how good we can get this back on there the way it was. We'll just reuse this loop we had from before. Make sure it's tight. We'll look and make sure our copper is under the screw head all the way around. Now we'll flip it over to the uh, other one here. We'll close the one we're not using. Open our loop back up here. We'll get under our brass screw. Close the screw loop the direction our screw turns. Make sure it's nice and tight like that. And we'll push it back into our box. So that's our old outlet, and uh, I bet this outlet's probably like 40, 30, 40 years old. So now we'll go to our next one. Okay, this outlet's all painted up.
Okay, again, we only have two wires here. So I can't tell which one. Okay, this is the white and that's the black. I'm going to just take these screws out all the way so I don't have to mess with the loops. I'm going to see if that's long enough. Yeah, I got to strip that a little longer. Make sure it's nice and tight and our insulation is not under the uh, screw head. Now we'll get our, make sure it's tight. Now I'll flip it down this way and we'll get our, I'll make our loop better so it goes around the screw. I'll close the screw we're not using. Okay, make sure our copper is under the screw head all the way around. And our insulation is not under the uh, screw head. And we'll fold it back into our box. Now I'm going to shorten this screw because I had a hard time getting it out. Again, this is on two wire wiring, so we have to have a use a two prong outlet, which is polarized without a ground hole because we only got two wires. So 
So we have newer wire here. This is probably uh, 30 years old, and this down here is probably about uh, 50 years old. Now these wires are so badly uh, discolored, so I'm going to hook them up back up on the new outlet here so I don't forget which one is which. These are the blacks. You always put your wire around the screw the direction your screw turns. Make sure it's tight, and that's what we want. Listening to some hip hop here. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, I'll put it in. Uh, 